So, first thing we're gonna do, start with the neck. Both feet together, hands down low. Tuck the chin, and then look up and back. And we'll go back and forth. Good, let's go for five. Good, one more, nice and slow. Nice, now let's go left to right, all the way to the left, all the way to the right. No looking down, we wanna draw a straight line with the eyes. Three, three, four, four, good. Look back as far as you can, five, and five. Now let's make some circles. One, nice and slow. Two, three, good. Try not to let those shoulders move at all. Just the neck. Four, and five. Nice, other way. One, two, nice job, nice job. Three, if you're getting ahead of me, slow it down. This isn't a race, we want a big stretch. Four, good. And five, very nice. Okay, now let's take those arms and make some circles. We're going forward, nice and easy. Not trying to make it too hard just yet. Just trying to get loose. Okay, now let's go backwards. Good, there we go. Big, big circles. Make those shoulders move. Good, and relax. Now we're gonna go crisscross in front of your body. Okay, give yourself a pat on the back. You deserve it, you woke up, it's Monday. Might be early, might be late. You're getting your workout in. Good. All right, nice job. Now, we're gonna do some twists. So you're gonna bring those hands to the side, make sure that that other foot twists, and we're looking back as far as you can. We're gonna go side to side, just get a couple each way. Good, let them swing. We don't wanna be stiff here, we wanna be nice and loose. Breathe out as you twist. In when you come forward, out on the way back. Good, let's get a couple more. And relax, good. Now, down to one knee. We're gonna go hands behind the head, barely touching the back of your head because we want those elbows pinching back. We don't want to yank on our head. Okay, keep, uh, keep that position as we turn and then bring our head forward. So we're gonna twist as far as you can, and then bring it back. Let's get five. Three, four, and five. Nice, other side. Okay, we're breathing it out. Breathe it in, breathe it out, breathe it in. Let's get three more, three, four, and five, nice, okay. Right from there, let's go feet shoulder width apart. Okay, from that, from that point, we're gonna bend over and touch our toes, and then walk it out. Good, keeping those feet, or sorry, keeping those legs straight, we're gonna push our feet until they're flat on the ground, reach our butt to the sky, and then bring it back down. Let's do that for five. Two, push away from the floor until those shoulders shrug. Three, four, and five. Nice, 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 all right. Let's stand it on up. Okay, we're gonna go one foot forward, one foot back, and we're gonna reach our foot back as far as you can. Tap your toe and then stand it up tall, okay? If you're struggling for balance, when you're reaching back, just tap that foot down and keep going. Okay, let's get five. That's two, three, four, and five. Good, other side, other side. Okay, reach back, one, whoa, two. Make sure we're focusing on something in front of us. Our eyes are all over the place, it's gonna be impossible to balance. Three, four, and five. Nice. All right, now let's go feet shoulder width apart. 
Okay, we're going to squat down with those feet a little bit turned out. We're going to squat it down. When you get to the bottom, we're going to reach one hand up, look at it, bring it back in. And the other one, look at it, bring it back in, and stand. Okay, let's do that five times. So, squat it down, one hand, other hand, and stand, two. Squat it, one, two, and three. Squat it, one, two, and four. One more time. Sit down low, one, two, and stand. Beautiful. Now let's go both feet together. We're gonna take a step to the side, both hands forward, butt back, and then stand it up tall. We're gonna go to the right for five, and then we'll switch to the left. Three, four, and five. Nice, other way. One, two, make sure we're pushing off the side of our foot to push ourselves back up. Three, four, and five, beautiful. Okay, now, let's lunge it out. We got, we got both feet together. Take a step back, reach those hands to the ceiling. One, one, let's get five each. Two, two, three, three, four, four. Gonna keep that weight forward. Five, and five, nice. All right, now, find a line or pretend there's one in front of you. Going over and back as fast as you can. Ready, set, and go. Five, four, three, two, one. Break. Now, last thing is going to be pogos. Feet are going to be shoulder width apart. Going up and down as fast as we can. Ready, set, and go. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right. I think we're warmed up. Okay, let's get a quick drink. Okay. Oh man, so now that we have a minute to catch our breath, okay, we're gonna go over what we got on the menu today. Let's see, there we go. Okay, hopefully you guys can read my crappy handwriting. Okay, we got minute on, minute off. We're gonna do three things for three rounds. Yeah, there you are, three rounds, okay? And we're gonna do, hopefully, one of each, but if we got time, we're gonna do two. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so first thing we got is a piece of cardio equipment. Okay, so if you have a rower or a bike, go ahead and grab it, or we're gonna use your stairs. Okay, for the stairs, you can do it one of two ways. Okay, now we'll pretend this is your bottom stair. You can go up, up, down, down a nice easy pace, or you can run up your stairs and down your stairs. Just be safe, no trips, no falls. Okay, hold on to that railing. <laughs> okay, once you're done with that, we get a minute break, and then we go to the next thing, which is gonna be hamburger flips. I know some of you are probably like, what? Okay, hamburger flips are a core exercise. It's pretty much a plank into a hollow hold. I'll explain. And we're going to start in a plank. So, if you can, you're going to hold the plank for the full minute. But, if it gets to be too much, you're going to flip it to a hollow hold. Okay? And then, we're going to flip it back once your arms are ready and go back here. Okay, now, the first one, we'll see how, how long of a plank you can get. But, as we go on to that second and third round, I'm going to say... Flip, flip, flip. So you're gonna be flipping with me, okay? You know what? Let's do that for all three. On my go. When I say flip, we flip. Sounds like a song. Okay, all right. Then when you're done with that, we got biceps. Okay, biceps, either with a band or dumbbells, okay? Um, after we're done with that, we got cardio again. So you could use the same piece of cardio equipment or if you have multiple, you could do that. Or we got squat side steps. Okay. Taking a page out of Michelle's playbook. 
We're going to go both feet together, side step, squat, squat, back and forth like we're in aerobics class or something. You can even grab a box and do it that way. Okay, then we got body weight reverse lunges. Okay, with the reverse lunge, just like we did in the warm up, we're just going back and forth, tap and stand. Hey, no weight on this. This is gonna be most like a cardio session. We don't wanna go too crazy on the weight, but if it's way too easy, feel free to grab a weight that you can hold at your chest, okay? If the uh, lunges are too much for the knees, you could either do a wall sit or regular squats. Just keep a nice steady pace. And then last but not least, we have pull-aparts or tees on the ground. Okay, for the pull-aparts, you're gonna have a band Sorry about that. Okay, for the pull apart, you're gonna stand up nice and tall, reach those hands as far forward as you can, keep them as far away from your body as possible, tap, and then bring it back in front. We don't want those shoulders sitting back here. Reach them forward, keep them out away from your body. For a full minute, just keep that steady pace back and forth. Okay, if you don't have a band at your disposal, you're gonna be on the ground in a T position with your hands off the ground. So it's gonna look like this. Hands out to the side, chin tucked in, and you're gonna hold just like that. Okay, I don't expect everybody to get that full minute, so take breaks if you need to, but keep it going. Take a little break, then keep it going. See how long you can get. Okay, let's jump into that first circuit. So, first we got the cardio over the stairs with the flips and bicep curls. Okay, so I'm gonna set the timer. We're going to do minute on, minute off. I know I have it here. There it is. Okay, I'm going to set it right here so hopefully you can hear the loud ding. But if not, I'll let you know. Okay. Here we are. I don't know why it's not going. There we are. Okay. So, I'll grab my piece of cardio equipment. Okay, everybody ready? We got cardio equipment first, then hamburger flips. Ready? We're gonna get started in three, two, one, and begin. All right, guys. Hey, strap it up, let's go, let's go. Want a nice steady pace. We're not sprinting, but we're not taking it easy either. Okay, there we go. Get in the rhythm. And again, this time is what you make of it. So make sure that you're picking a pace that's hard, but you can breathe through your nose, or you can talk like I'm talking right now. That's the pace we're going for. Something where you can still hold a conversation, but it's challenging. Good. There we go. Try the nose only breathing. If you're not clogged up, only the nose. There we go. 10 seconds. Get ready for those hamburger flips. Or actually, I take that back. Get ready to relax. <laughs> nice job. Okay, now you get a minute. Then we go into the flips. Okay, take your time. Breathe. Woo. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Okay, hopefully you challenged yourself a little bit there. If you didn't, if you're like me right now, really didn't take a whole lot out of you, pick up the pace next time. Okay, really crank it on the rower or the bike or speed it up and get more steps. Okay, if you're on the steps, count how many you do and try and beat it every single round. That's one way to crank up the intensity a little bit. Okay, we got 20 seconds. Let's get, it, get ready for those flips. Move this out of the way so I don't hurt myself. Okay, we'll start in that plank position. Remember, on my go, if I say flip, we flip. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Plank it up. All right, get comfy. Hold it steady. We don't want our butt super high. Okay, make sure that our shoulders aren't sinking down. We want to push up and away from the floor. 
There we go. Okay, make sure that those hands are separated. We don't want to hold them together. Good, and flip. Other hold, flip, flip, flip. Okay, hang out here. If that's too easy, push those heels forward. Good. There you go. If it's too easy here, reach the hands back, keeping those shoulders off the ground. There we go. Good. We'll just hang out right. Flip! Just kidding. Come on, flip it over, flip it over. You got 10 more seconds. There we go. Hold, hold, hold. Whoo, we're almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work, nice work. All right, grab your band. We got some biceps to do. Whew. That minute is a nice little rest. Okay, hopefully this isn't too easy for some of you. Okay, make sure that you grab enough weights for this biceps curl, or make sure that your band is tight enough. Okay, if your band is really tight, go with one foot. If it's not that tight, go with both feet and spread them to get more tension on the band. Whew. Or if you want a lot of tension, hold it like this and step on it. Here we go. And okay, we got 15 seconds. Okay, set yourself up. We're going to get going in five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Okay, curling up, bring it back down. Doesn't matter if you get a bunch or if you go super slow, as long as your arms don't stop. Okay, it's not about the reps, it's about the time. Our biceps are working. There we go. Good. Make sure to stay on top of that band so it doesn't snap up on us. Good. Okay, some of you might be getting to this 30 second mark and be like, oh boy, this is starting to burn. Okay, that's okay, go with the next level down. Okay, around one foot or both feet. And just keep it going. Find that tension that's right for you. Good. You've got to pump it up. Okay, pick the right level of tension. You can't stop pumping. Keep it going. Come on. All right, that's enough for me. Come on, 10 seconds. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Done with that. Shake it out, shake it out. Nice work, nice work. All right, so one round down, two more to go. We got the cardio next. Now, you got to feel for that first set. Now let's crank it up. If it's too easy, adjust. If it's too hard, adjust. Find that sweet spot. All right. Yeah. That should be good. You guys can see me. Yeah, we got 30 seconds. Start getting ready. If you want to, you can get a nice, easy pace going. Burn a couple calories during the rest. Just hang out. Good. Okay, we got 15 seconds, then we're gonna go crazy. There you go. All right. Whew. Let's crank it up. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and ding ding. Let's go. A little faster this time. Nice. Remember, talking pace. Make sure you can still breathe through your nose only. That's the sweet spot. If you got your dog next to you, hold the conversation. If you got your family working in the corner, annoy them a little bit. Get in their ear. Here we go. Nice job. You got 15 seconds. Let's crank up that pace a little bit. Hey, we can still talk. This isn't too bad. Nice job. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. One minute. Shake it off. Get ready for some hamburger flips. Okay, 
with all this extra rest, that's going to give us a lot more opportunity to give a little bit more effort each time. Okay, we're not struggling for air, so there should be no fatigue going into that next thing. Let's give it our all. Okay, we got 30 seconds. I don't want to see anybody touching the ground prematurely. Okay, we're going to plank, then hollow hold, then plank, then hollow hold. Who knows, how many flips are we going to get in? We've got to keep it even. Just like a burger. You can't just cook one side. We've got to cook both. Okay, we got 10 seconds. Let's bring it down to the ground. Here we go. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Ding, ding. Here we go. Okay, make sure that those hands are separated, legs are straight, butt is squeezed. There we go, just like that. Hold it and flip. Flip it over, flip it over. Good. Shoulders are up, chin is tucked in, eyes are at the ceiling. Okay, so we're not crunching our neck, we're pulling it in, packing the chin back, looking up at the ceiling. There we go. Or mess around with it, see what feels right. Good. And flip. Plank time, plank, plank, plank. There we go, there we go. Hold it tight. Stay tight. And flip. Flip it over. Let's go, let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Come on. Almost there. Ten seconds. Three. Flip. Just kidding. Three, two, one. Ding, ding. Hope I got a couple of you there. <laughs> Whew. All right. Starting to sweat a little bit now. That's good. Okay, one more of the biceps, then we got one more full round. Okay, if you're going with dumbbells, okay, if you're going with palms up, okay, if you're going with palms up and it's a little too hard, switch it to hammer. Hammer is a little bit easier usually, like you're holding two beer cans or apple juices, whatever you're drinking. Come Thanksgiving, I know we're all going to indulge a little bit. That's why we're working out today. Now, what is everybody looking most forward to? Name your dish. Okay, I know I'm looking forward to stuffing and all the Italian dishes beforehand. That's that's my family. Oh, one sec. Three, two, one. Let's go. Curl it up. Bring it back down. So while we're curling, let's talk some food. Okay, I know. The way my family does it with the Italian starter, usually some lasagna and meatballs, followed by a three to four hour nap, and then the full course with the turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, corn, cranberry, whatever it is, maybe some candied yams, I'm trying to think of what else. All the good stuff. Oh man, I'm starting to get hungry. Sorry guys, just thinking about the holidays. There we go, 15 seconds. If I missed anything, add it in. If you guys are apple or pecan pie people, throw it in the chat, in the comment section. Let me know. What's everybody's favorite dish? Three, two, one, done. All right, one minute, then we go again. Good job, good job. Okay, take that minute, type it in. Let me know your favorites. Some shrimp cocktail. Well, I got a, I got a t uh, topic. What's everybody's favorite chip dip? Okay, if it's not Axelrod, we can't be friends. I'm sorry, that's how it is. If you're not a Ruffles and Axelrod person, I just can't talk to you. All right, grab that cardio equipment. We got 20 seconds, <clears throat> time for round number three. 15. Ooh, strap it on in, get a nice easy pace going, loosen it up. Good, here we go, ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Okay, talking pace, nasal breathing only pace. Yeah, let's go. 
seconds. Crank it up. Come on. This is the last time we'll be doing this. Okay? We're probably not going to have time for round two of this. Let's go. Come on. 20 seconds. Push that pace. And we'll push it a little harder than talking pace now. Let's sprint. Come on. What do you got? Let's see. Let's see. 10 seconds. There we go. Come on. Anybody think of anything new during the break? I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Oh, Italian bread with the butter. Oh, so good. Oh, 20 seconds, guys. Hamburger flips. Okay, let's get on the floor. Let's get ready. All right. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Let's plank it up. Good. Just like this. And flip. Oh, very quick on the flip. Come on. Let's go. Flip it over. Flip it over. There we go. Nice job. Nice job. Let's just hang out. Let's get comfy. We can do this all day. Those abs are good to go. Come on. Shoulders are up. Chin's packed in. Eyes on the ceiling. There you go. Nice job. Oh, oh boy. This is, this is nothing, guys. We got this. And flip! Other side. Flip it, flip it. Plank time. There we go. We got 20 seconds left. 20 seconds. And the plank is the last one we're going to do. Hold it, hold it, hold it. 10 seconds. Good. Flip. Just kidding. Flip it over. Let's go. Move it, move it, move it. Three, two, one. Done. Nice job. All right. One minute, then we got the biceps. Whoo. Nice job, nice job. Okay, now, for some of you, okay, depending on the weight situation or anything like that, maybe you don't have enough to push it too hard, okay, in between, we're not just going to be standing like this, okay, get those knees up, okay, keep that heart rate elevated a little bit, it doesn't need to be crazy, but get a little motion going, okay, don't let yourself slow down, there you go, we got the cardio equipment here, so I'm going to save my energy. But if you want to, get those knees up. Good. Ready? Five seconds. Biceps time. There we go. And begin. Curl it up and down. Let's go. Good. Nice job. Nice job. Stay as tall as you can. Make sure those cheeks are squeezed. Good. Okay, we want to keep our belly button behind the chest. I don't want to see anybody like this. Okay, nice and tall. There you go. Push those legs through the floor, head to the ceiling. There you go. Thought I saw a ghost. Who knows? Probably one or two in here. Good. There we go. Don't let those arms stop. Come on. I know it's burning. I know we're getting tired. Come on. We're not done yet. We're not done. Keep it going. We don't stop when we're tired. We stop when we're done. Let's go. Ten more seconds. Good, good, good. No swinging. Every rep exactly the same. Three, two, one. Oh, done with that. Okay, we've got one minute, then we're going on to the next three. We got cardio equipment again or squat steps. That's the one 
where you start feet together, squat down, and you go side to side, back and forth. Okay, and then we got the reverse lunges, body weight or very light weight in the goblet, and then we got the pull parts or the T's. Okay, so let's get ready to spice it up. I'll join you guys who do not have cardio equipment. Okay, we're gonna be doing those sidestep squats. Okay, if you only have that one piece of cardio, join us. Or you can do the stair steps from before if you'd rather that. Okay, either one as long as we're moving. Okay, 10 seconds, feet together. Feel that anticipation? Let's go. Ready? Three, two, one, side step and squat. There we go. Nice and steady pace. Nice. Okay, this is not a side lunge. Make sure we're square when we're squatting. Fight to keep yourself symmetrical. Nice job, nice job. Doing good, guys. Keep it going. Whew. Beautiful. There we go, there we go. 30 seconds, just keep it going. Keep that pace. Don't let those legs stop moving. No breaks. We got a minute long break coming. There we go. Nice job, nice job. 15 seconds. There we go, let those legs burn up. Nice, nice, nice. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, relax. Good work. We got the lunges next. Okay, so shake out those legs. Okay, get all that lactic acid out. All those hydrogen ions. Get them out, get them out. Shake it out. Whew. All right. Okay, now remember, if the lunges are no good, wall sits or squats are also fine. Okay, but we just did a bunch of squats, so I'd suggest the wall. It's gonna burn, but it's gonna be a good burn. All right, bring that breathing down. In through the nose, out through the mouth, keeping it right here. No, hey, none of that. Shoulders relaxed. Breathe through here. All right, 10 seconds. Here we go. Okay, reverse lunge time. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Light tap and stand. Okay, we don't have to get a bunch. Just keep a good pace. There we go. Under control. Eyes are forward looking at something in front of you. Good. Okay, hopefully everybody's going body weight for this first one. And we don't want to add weight until we know that it feels good, that it feels right. It's not going to be easy, but the right muscles are kicking in. We're not feeling it in our knees or our ankles. We're feeling it all right up in here. Oh, good. Whoa. Okay, like I said, focus on something in front of you. Hopefully you won't lose your balance. There we go. Nice work, nice work. Whew, 10 more seconds. Keep it rolling. There you go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, one minute rest. All right, that wasn't too bad. You guys have been keeping up with the workouts over the quarantine. This is nothing. Should be an easy day. All right, what do we got next? We got pull parts. Okay, so. Grab your band, and we got some pull parts. Or you're gonna be on your chest on the ground, holding that T, okay? If you're feeling it in your neck, okay, tuck those shoulders down for both, for the pull part and the T's, make sure that those shoulders are packed away from your ears, down towards your hips, while you hold it. All right. There we go. This one's gonna burn. Going full White Goodman there. Name the movie. Ready? Turn it up, Reggie. I don't want to burn. Three, two, one, go. There we go. I promise that'll be the only super creepy quote of the day. I promise. 
Good. Want a very light grip here. Okay, we don't want all the muscles up in here taking over. Okay, you want to barely hold on to it, just enough so it doesn't fly out of your hand. Okay, firm but not squeezing. There we go. Make sure those shoulders aren't sitting back here. Okay, I don't want to see any fat blast pull apart. You know who you are. Okay, tap and reach forward. Tap. Reach it forward. There we go. Good. Full range of motion every single time. We're going to do something. We're going to do it right. Reach, tap. Reach, tap. There we go. Three, two, one. Ding, ding. Woo! Shake it out. All right. One down, two to go. Okay, hopefully this isn't too, too bad. <laughs> Okay, we got side steps coming up, so remember, if you're feeling it in your knees at any point, go to that wall sit. Set those feet pretty far in front of you, so that way your knees don't have to shoot over your toes. Okay, you can still get a nice little burn where it needs to be, but your knees won't hurt. 30 seconds. Okay, we got both feet together. Ooh. Oh, man. Wonder, did anybody in this group put up their Christmas lights yet? Or is it too soon? I'd like to know I'm not the only one that thinks it. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just a little too early. Saw a couple on the way in. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. A little too early for, uh, for lights. Ready? Set and go. Sidestep. Okay, comment in the comment section below. Is it too early for lights? Or is it just right? Is now the time to get it in when it's warm? I guess that makes some sort of sense. Still not about it though. Good. There we go. Keep it symmetrical. We want our toes slightly turned out and not straight ahead, not super wide. Little angle out. Squatting the same way on both sides. Should look identical. Name that movie. I think I just heard a lot of people get excited. If you guys don't know, it's also the one where a biological clock is tick, tick, ticking. <sighs> if you don't know that movie, we got problems. <laughs> Three, two, one, and relax. All right, lunge after that. Whew. All right. Ooh, 50 seconds, catch that breath. Remember, comment in that section. What's the movie? Identical. Extra points if you can name the car. Honestly, I don't think you can name the car. All I know is that it had something to do with positive traction. Good. 20 seconds. Here we go. Both feet together again. We got some lunges to do. Okay, we're gonna get going in 10, 9, 8, 7, getting ready. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. Tap and stand. Get that pace going. Okay, some of you must have hopefully grabbed the weight. Okay, hold it at the chest, don't let it go. Okay, keep it nice. Even pace. We're not rushing. What's the rush? We just gotta keep moving. Hit that ticker. Go. And okay, make sure the weight is forward on your feet. And okay, this is the foot taking it, taking all the weight. This back foot is just for support. There we go. Our front foot is nice and flat. We're not popping our toes up. Okay, we're not tilting our foot all the way to either side. Okay, keeping it nice and straight. Keep that knee between the pinky toe and the big toe. Okay, there you go. You can lean forward a little bit. Some of you might feel better if that back knee is starting to get a little pissed off, okay, or your back is starting to feel it. Lean forward a little bit. Good. Rest. All right, nice work, nice work. Okay, now we got the pull parts. Whew. All right. Oh, man. 
Anybody else sucking wind? <sighs> it's cardio, guys. I don't know how you do it. I don't get it. No, it's good for you, but give you guys credit. Okay, we got 30 seconds. 30 second warning. Oh, man. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keeping it right here. Right here today, right here after Thursday. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. Begin, tap and reach. There we go. Make sure those shoulders are not up here. Tap them down. Okay, you wanna feel it a little bit here and a lot on the back of your shoulder, not in the traps. If you're feeling it there, you're too high. Bring it down low a little bit more. Okay, down here's fine too. If it keeps those shoulders down, we're in good, we're in a good position. There we go. Okay, another thing you can do if it just keeps getting into your neck, lay on the ground. Okay? Just like this, tap and bring it up. That's fine too. Okay, you might need a heavier band or to bring those hands a little closer, but that's fine. There you go. Tap, reach away from the ground. Tap, reach away from the floor. There you go. Good. We got five more seconds. Keep going. Embrace the burn. Good. Dunzo. All right. One more round. All right, all right, all right. I can name that movie. I think I've quoted that about every single Fat Blast. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Slow it down. Keep it here. Okay, when we're stress breathing, it's all going to be up here. So really focus. It's easy to breathe up here when we're stressed. Okay, focus here. Put your hand there and breathe into it. Push it out with your breath. Good, and then breathe it out and deflate it. In, expand, out, deflate. Ready? Here we go. Side steps. Ready, set, go. Squat it down, stand it up. Nice, nice, nice. Caught a couple of you by surprise. Sorry, <laughs> got caught up in the breathing. There we go. Good. Keep that chest proud. Okay, sit that butt back. We want to make sure that our feet stay flat. Okay, we don't want to rock back on our heels where our toes pop up. If your foot's flat, we're in a good spot. Okay, our big toe is locked into the ground, pushing down. Okay, fun fact. The big toe is a key to get your abs more engaged. When your abs are more engaged, your abs are going to get stronger. When your abs get stronger, we're usually feeling better, okay, because that's going to support our back. If any of you guys have lower back pain or anything, especially during this, try pushing those big toes down. See if it helps. Maybe, maybe not. Give it a go. All right, nice job. Relax. We got some reverse lunges. Okay, slow it down, crank that dial down, three, two, one, zero. We're relaxed, we're chilling. Not up here, damn, did it. None of this. Helps if you have heavy weights like a kettlebell, just holding it in front, it'll hold those shoulders down for you while you breathe. Right here. I don't have a heavy kettlebell on me. Didn't think that far ahead. All right, we got 15 seconds. 15. Okay, reverse lunge time. Ready, 10, nine, bring those feet together. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Tap down, bring it together. Good. There we go. Try to spread those toes apart every time. See if you can get them a little bit wider every time you plant that front foot. 
Okay, back foot, don't worry about it too much. Front foot, spread it. And we're making a big footprint in the sand every time. There we go. Good. Whew. Nice job, nice job. Whew. Hopefully this isn't too much, guys. Okay, again, use that wall sit if you need to. Wall sits are fine. Take breaks if you need to, as long as you're feeling that burn. Good. Keep that weight forward. Nice job, nice job. Okay, we got 10 more seconds. No quitting, guys. This is the last round. Let's push through. Come on, just a couple more. No breaks. Three, two, one. Tap. All right, nice job. All right, last one. Okay, we're in the home stretch here, guys. Keep it going. We're gonna embrace the suck. We're all in this together, okay? Feel so much more accomplished once this is all over. Better be ready to attack the day. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's seen the making your bed video on Facebook with that general, but it comes in many different forms. Okay, something to show that you're productive just to start off the day. Making your bed's one thing, showing up for a fat blast is another. Yeah, this should be a sense of pride. Doing something that not a lot of people are doing right now. Okay, we're up, we're moving, doing something productive for you, for your family. Okay, let's finish strong. Let's keep the energy high. Come on. Ready? Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Begin. Tap and reach. Okay, to the chest and then round the shoulders forward. Tap. <coughs> oh, just hit puberty. Tap and reach. Tap and reach. Good. Okay, staying tall, pushing those feet through the ground. Good. There it is. Very nice. We're not leaning back here. That belly button is behind our chest. Chin is packed in. There we go. We're in our last 30 seconds, guys. Keep going. Keep pushing. Okay, we got this. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. That burn is nothing. If we can beat this, we can do anything today. Come on, show that mental toughness. Let's go, let's go. 10 seconds. Good, tap and reach. Five seconds, let's get three more. One, two, and three. Done. Woo, good job guys. Great way to start the day or finish it whenever you guys pick, pick your time, okay? Very proud of you for finishing this getting it done. Hopefully I will see you guys in person or in Zoom before Turkey Day, but if not, happy Thanksgiving and I will see you guys soon.